This shouldn't work, but it does. Okay, so this might be like the most, this might just be a waste of time entirely, um, or this might um, work 100%, okay? So my concept is, right, so Slate Digital, Stephen Slate's pl plugin manu uh, manufacturer, um, Slate Digital have just released in the last few days, uh, where is it, uh, Anna 2. But they've he's done like an Anna 2. I mean, if you want the Slate stuff, get Slate stuff. It's great, by the way. Uh, I've used it before. Here you go. So Anna Anna here is a is a synth uh, made by Sonic Academy. So I own Sonic Academy um, Anna 2. But he they basically bundled now um, Anna 2 Ultra. Okay. Now, which comes with a load of cool other stuff, um, some presets and some different skins and stuff. Now. I'm pretty convinced that I can get hold of this by kind of doing a weird kind of back-end um, thing. I mean, it's got loads of cool stuff. It's got filters, 46 filter types. I mean, three wavetable oscillators, three sample oscillators, a G envelope, um, a cord memory device, which is really cool, um, and a hell of a lot of samples, uh, presets as well. Um, and it's like nine pound, nine dollars a month, or you can buy it for 129, or you can buy it no commitment. So that's if you buy it um, recurring, and uh, this is if you buy it month to month. I've had it in the past. I'm not currently, don't currently have it um, because I wasn't getting enough use out of it. But um, I think if I go to the installers, and then we go to here, and I download. Anna 2.9 point whatever it's going to take ages to download um, but I should in theory if I go into my programs I should I think I can remove the plugin okay so where's Anna 2 Anna 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 is it not here or was it under something else maybe I'm looking in the wrong place but I think all my plugins are like here so maybe it's under Sonic Academy um, there we go, Slate Bundle. See, I've already had the, um, I already have installed the Slate Bundle. So, I think, in theory, if I uninstall, this is a gamble, right? I'm basically going to uninstall Anna 2 to add the new version of Anna on top so that's gone and then install uninstall that uh, sort of, there we go uh, downloads okay I need to go back and download plugins Anna 2 okay latest release which is interesting because it it's exactly the same version okay what intrigues me is is that the versions are, are different but it would make more sense that they would add the support it by the way it's on offer if you wanted to know that I've not got an affiliate link but uh, so it was a hundred and forty uh, pounds it's now only 50 it's I would say from my use of using it it's like the serum killer it literally is amazing and um, the presets are so good and it sounds amazing and if this little hack works you basically get the entire slate bundle as well for utterly for like no money whatsoever so i think the way that this is going to have to work is we'll have to install and uh, sorry the sonic academy version and then i think i can just install the slate version on top um, and that should weave into the like the the um the plug-in um architecture whatever the presets that should weave in the slate presets i think um, I'm pretty confident that this is a way of doing it. Um, I don't have, I have done it in the past. Hello, Josh from the edit here. Um, what I failed to tell you in this video is, uh, stupidly, is that I installed the Sonic Academy version of Anna 2 and then proceeded to install the uh, Slate Digital version of Anna 2 um, afterwards. That didn't work and actually resulted in me having to show an iLock account 
serial in order to activate the Slate Digital Anna 2. As I said earlier, I did once own the Slate Digital Bundle, but I no longer own it, so I was unable to actually access the Anna 2. So what you're about to watch me do is reinstall the Slate Digital version first, and then I overrode it with the Sonic Academy version of Anna 2, which I actually have access to and can um, license. So you're about to watch me do that. I just thought I'd clarify that before you were a bit confused. Um, okay, back to the video. One million zillion jillion dillion cotillion times later. Which, oh wait, there might be a way around this actually. Let, let's try it the other way. So I tried to install this Sonic Academy version before Slate, right? If I go back and I go here and I now uninstall here, okay? So we now have Sonic Academy being uninstalled. Can I uninstall here we go let's go over the clean installation okay oh wait what uninstall oh wait uninstall yes sonic academy was successfully removed from your computer great okay so that's still sitting there in motion right but if i go if i do it the other way around uh which i can do because i think it's still here yeah so if i go ultra PC ultra like so okay do it this way now this is a gamble and I might just completely mess my computer up completely and it might be a ma massive nightmare but in theory can I do it the reverse way by installing all this and then sticking the my version that I own over the top and then it hook the stuff in don't know it's worth a try um, and I have been talking now for like 20 minutes um, which is quite funny but I'm kind of I'm kind of hoping that all this kind of works out otherwise I'm gonna have a massive hard drive full of um, basically Anna plugin presets which I need to get access to um, somehow because I had all the old version of the plugin um, but I guess that's what happens when you buy, uh, when you try and hack the exclusive content. Um, so here we go. So go back, PC, install this, okay? So it technically is the same version. It's the same software. It should run in the same architecture. Um, now what we're going to install, do is install one over the top of the other. Next, finish. Okay, cool. So now go in here, go to preferences, go rescan. It'll go through the entire slate catalog again uh, it might ask me to install no it hasn't asked me that's interesting why is that okay register there you go folks i have hacked it i think key file this shouldn't work but it does i've managed to install the slate digital version of anna 2 using which is a hundred and like 50 quid a month year a month a year and i've managed to hack around the back end so what i did was if you didn't just see what happened i installed the sonic uh, the slate digital version of anna first and i overwrote it with the sonic academy version and I then dragged my license key in from the Sonic Academy version, which was only £49 when I bought it. And I've now been able to access the entire Slate Digital Sonic Academy bundle by using the Sonic Academy license key that I bought. So I now own this. There's no subscription updates or anything. I literally have access to the Slate Digital Ultra uh, Anna 2 bundle that has just been released but I've not bought it I've bought it when I've bought it as Sonic Academy and the plugins have now been the presets have now come over so let's dive in very quickly to check this is true yeah look here you go ultra okay here we go just to double check broken organ okay uh, where are we Anna 2 over here okay this is like Christmas come early for me so these are all the pr presets that come with the the sad trap all of that stuff that comes with it we've got all these um all these presets that come with it um 
if you're confused about whether this is actually true I have here they are here's the factory presets I need to install some more stuff here by the looks of it uh, from the actual uh, factory and I don't have all the presets by the looks of it um, but what I do have is I have a good amount um, here all the original slate ones so these sorry the Sonic Academy ones these are the ones that I actually own and then here are all the slate digital presets here uh, the analog version the Detroit so for the house and uh, for that sort of stuff the Euro rack stuff which is um, really cool and I'm particularly excited to try I mean again I'm not a keys player so don't expect anything magical from me but um, and then uh, just to prove it if you go into the factory skins there's all the euro rack skin that is available the sad trap skin uh, the ssd one uh, which is like a take on let me just show you the op1 and then you got all these arps and stuff i don't know if they've done much updating of the um it doesn't look like they've done much updating of the actual but yeah there's all these plug presets that have always have always been kind of piped in um really great kind of atmospheric stuff and the stuff you know I'm just messing right now uh, there you go look so it's licensed to me it's version such and such and it's been developed by um, Sonic Academy and it was updated on May the 12th so just over a month ago but yeah, so this is the this is the legit version of the Sonic Academy Slate Digital presets loaded into uh, Anna 2, but only using my Sonic Academy license, which I paid fifty pounds for. So that's quite a win. So if you really enjoyed this hack, uh, drop a like below, subscribe. Uh, I've got more tips and tricks coming up, um, and this is kind of a major win. So let me know if you if you like this. I will also drop a link to the Slate Digital bundles and the so you can see what's in Anna 2 Ultra from Slate Digital. I'll also drop your link so you can go buy Anna 2 from Sonic Academy for 50 pounds. It's still on offer. Again, I'm not I'm not associated. I'm not paid for saying that. Um, I just really like Anna 2, and I think it's a great synth. And I think if you can access more stuff and more sounds that's even better um, so yeah I hope you really enjoyed this um, and I can't wait to hear what you think about this little this little trick so yeah until next time I've been Josh Ableton Tutor and I'll see you on the next one bye